and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. And hey, if you guys haven't been paying attention and looking at all my uploads, this is actually game three of three. This is the third one that I posted today. All of them were against my opponent here, the Red Protoss player, Noob Sauce. This is the third game. I will give you guys a couple seconds warning before I give away the spoilers in the other game. Okay, in the other games, I uh, we went one in one, so this is going to be a best of three, as I kind of gave away there, if you guys were reading. But uh, how it wor worked out is I lost on Shakur's Plateau when I went for a mech build. Didn't have the timing of it down. He came in with four gate and was able to tear down my early defenses really before I even had my first siege tank out. It was not good but then i came back on steps of war when i countered his four gate with the three racks of my own it took a little bit of time for me to mount a comeback and after a, a counter attack after he did push first so this is scrap station so we should be seeing some fast air for me that is what i love to do on this map of course air is pretty much useless unless I have marines and marauders in them because this is a Protoss player and I always think that Protoss players love to go for the stalkers more than they do the zealots so I don't think banshees are a great option here for harassment against Protoss players but you never know you can you could catch a Protoss player off guard and suddenly he's going for zealots and he does not have any stalkers in his base my first Rex is up, Orbital Command is on the way, Marine is being trained as we speak. Meanwhile, he is going for pretty much his standard opener here. Uh, and I know it's a standard opener because this is the third time that I've seen it. He loves getting one pylon, one gateway, second pylon, cybernetics core. Now I can't remember if he gets a third pylon before he gets the second gateway or not. This might be a little bit slightly altered build that we're seeing from Noob Sauce this time. Remember that he is ranked, I believe it was 80th in Pro... Uh, did I say Protoss Division? I almost said it. In Platinum Division, so he is pretty much on the same level as I am. We're pretty even, that is probably why we went one and one. So I am going for three racks once again because I know that my opponent, after doing it twice in a row, I assume that he's just going to keep going for it, and it looks like he is. He went for four gate both times, so I assume he's going for it again, and it looks like... Yes, he is. There's the fourth one right there. And he is going to be getting the warp gate technology. He is going to be chrono boosting that. So we are going to be seeing the same build from him three times in a row. How will this affect what I'm doing? Well, I can tell you this. I expected him to do it again, and therefore I built my counter to it. And knowing that I was able to counter it last time, just basically with uh, basic infantry units and falling apart on macro, I'll be honest, I did not do well in the macro at the end of the last game, even though I won. So I'm getting reactor two tech labs getting that stim pack first forge whoa what's this forge is on the way and this this is his build if uh, you guys didn't want to watch the other ones what he loves to do is he loves to get a massive amounts of pylons and then once warp gate is done he starts building his army and he you know these are the first one the first units that he has out um, besides the the probes uh, usually he before he went for three stalkers and a sentry but he has changed the build slightly including a photon cannon in the back so no banshees are going to be absolutely useless in this game I do not know that yet but what am I going for it looks like I'm just going for defense right now I'm not nothing out of the unusual here out of the unusual out of the usual I am mixing up my idioms today what am I going for here? I'm going for Concussive Shells, which is just now finished. Stim Pack is still a few seconds off. and But yeah, 
Photon Cannons, but I, I was still would say that this is pretty similar of a build from him, even though it has changed slightly. It's a little more sentry heavy early, and of course the forge is out with the, the Photon Cannons, and that might be the reasoning for uh, the early sentries. But still, pretty much the same build, you know, massive, massive pile of pylons, four gate, cybernetics core with two gas. You know, that is pretty much, that's pretty standard here. And finally, we're going to be seeing some upgrades out of him. And he is chrono boosting that. There, once again, there's so many uses for chrono boost. I don't understand when Protoss players at the seven, eight minute mark, all of a sudden I'm looking at their base and they have two Nexus, Nexi, I don't even know, full of energy. Why aren't you using that? There's so many uses for it. If nothing else, just put them on your damn warp gates. A robotics facility on the way. So here we go. He is going to be altering his build in the mid game. I'm going to call the eight and a half minute mark the mid game, even though it's still relatively early. Stalker is going to be going in my base. What's he going to see? He's going to see an army ready for him. Engineering Bay is up with the weapons level one on the way. I'm finally getting my second refinery up. It is late. So late, in fact, that I should be thinking about going for an expansion here. But I am still scared for uh, of him coming in with the the four gate that I know he has and I'm scanning in his base and I'm gonna see that he's going for an upgrade here. I see that he's going for a pylon. I see that he's going is he going for three more pylons? Good lord. I see that he has the, f the four warp gates up. I don't know if there's a proxy pylon nearby, but what I do know is that it's been such a long time that I want a missile turret out in front of my base in case he goes for Dark Templars. I just never know. Plus, I'm going for two missile turrets in the back. You never know. Once again, just uh, I don't want any harassment from Void Rays in this game. It's been a long time since I've seen harassment from Void Rays on any map, really, but this would be the ideal map for it. And this, and I assume that now he's going for a slightly altered strategy because he has not attacked me yet. So I just don't know what he's going for, it, and I assume that all his timings are off because this is not his normal build anymore because I beat him in his normal build, and he did it twice in a row. So is there anything coming for me at all? There we go, factory. Once again, so late. Uh, I, I should have Medivax in, starting to do drops in his base constantly by now. Twilight Council is on the way, so he does usually, last time he went for the charge, let's see if he goes for that again. Immortal is out. I, once again, do not like Immortals, but they do cost a lot, so it, it's fine, I guess. 350 resources. And still there's been no attacks in the game. I'm finally going for an expansion. Getting a starport out. Finally. Uh, just late. Everything is late. I'm completely oversaturated here. And the reason that everything is late is that I was expecting a push early. And it never came. It, well, it's coming now, but... I'm more than ready for it. You know, what am I? 1-0, Stimpak, Concussive Shells, and Combat Shield? No Combat Shield yet. Doesn't look like... No, I haven't even started it. Why haven't I started it? I definitely have enough to afford it. And he is 1-0 as well. And he's not getting anything out of the Twilight Council, so he built that for nothing. Is that required for any upgrades? I don't... I don't know the, the Protoss tech tree. And here he's going for the debris because, oh, because I haven't been paying attention to my expansion. So now it is going to die. I have no choice but to let it die. SCV could run away, but I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. So I'm moving the army down. A ton of force fields dropping. It didn't look like it did all that much in terms of... Um, making my units move around, but now it seems like that it did play a my, uh, uh, an important part of that by 
keeping my army back and they were unable to attack and move up because of those force fields but it is not going to be enough he is forced to run only five stalkers that's all he has left is five stalkers uh, was only able to get through the shields of one of them and that guy is still a disciple though his nexus is up at the expansion he is going for a robotic space so we should be seeing colossi out of him soon meanwhile i am going for weapons level two along with siege tech don't see any siege tanks on the way though i am going for the pylons here that i just feel like they're just way out in the open and there's no reason not to take them out especially if he's gonna keep try to keep me off his ramp so i'm moving down here because those pylons were there i assume that he do did have the nexus which he does and i'm able to take that out almost no not almost completely un what was I going for? Wow, it is late. I am sorry, you guys. Um, completely, uh, I'm just going to abandon it. And he's dropping a couple force fields down on his ramp again, so he is going to keep me out of his base, but luckily I do have medevacs out. And it looks like I'm going to be going for a drop here. Yep, two fully loaded um, medevacs now. A Colossus is on the way. More zealots are coming. But so many pylons, good lord. Uh, and never looks like he got up to full saturation. Of course, I did take out two of them. Oh, moving up, but no. No. He said no with the force fields. Two medevacs are coming in though, so I am going for a two-prong attack. What I'm really hoping to do is to take this army and move it back here. And it looks like... Yes, he is going to be sending the entire army to the back of his base. And that is exactly what I wanted him to do. I assume that these guys are going to die. So I'm moving these guys up now, and I am finally able to get inside his base. And now... Pretty much I, I have him surrounded and there's nowhere for him to run. He is dropping force fields, but it is way too late now and everything that he has will die. These guys should be joining the fight, but really I want to take out the Nexus. So even though all these units did die, I should have enough here, especially with those medevacs. What are you doing? Stop, attack, 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 attack. Immortal does just now go down no he's gonna have enough to finish me so I'm just I'm just abandoning um, my Marines now and here I've realized that pretty much gonna be game how many minerals does he have left he does have quite a few minerals he has enough to actually start two new Nexus is next high I was actually told that it wasn't actually Nexuses it's actually next high or for no, it's actually Nexuses, it's not Nexi. It just sounds weird either way. Planetary Fortress is being um, trained. It doesn't even say. So I can't tell you what the action of making a Planetary Fortress is because they refuse to tell me. But he is making a Nexus here. I got two more fully loaded medevacs coming in he has not been able to rebuild any sort of defenses in the back of his base but he is not mining from there but he did leave all his pylons and all his production facilities wide open actually now he does have one pylon down here so almost all of his pylons down there up here so i'm going to be able to do massive amounts of damage especially since his army is out of position and really small anyways so I'm coming in, I'm taking out the robotics bay, because I hate Colossi, if, especially when my units are in small numbers here. So I'm going for... well, okay, I've, I've decided finally to focus on the army, and he's just... just clumps me all up with these force fields. Uh, my army can't move at all right now, but it doesn't really matter, because there were just too much of my army here they are 2-1 now and he well these guys will show that yeah he never got the armor upgrade so it looks like he just stayed as uh, 1-0 still it will confirm it yes he did stay 1-0 these guys 
are going to be able to clean up the job. Once again, he does leave a little bit later than I'm used to, but that's fine because we did play three games together. And now he ha he can't use the warp gaze. He can't uh, use the... He can't, even if he could, he's out of supply, and he sticks out his tongue at me, and I don't blame him. A uh, good game from, well, it was a relatively good game, but yes, I did win, so, oh man, I tried so hard not to spoil it by saying that it was a 2 out of 3, because that does give away the second game, but yes, it was a best of 2 out of 3, and I came out on top, and I was able to wipe out noob sauce, and it was delicious, it tasted like applesauce. So what do we got going on in my base now that it's, you know, over? I do have a relatively high amount of minerals and gas. I'm fully mined out of my main. Uh, I do have one factory, one starport with a reactor, and five barracks. do have an expansion up here with a planetary fortress. Doesn't look like I set a rally point there, which is bad. Always, that's very bad. Getting a third command center up, sending reinforcements around. I do have one siege tank out. He does know siege mode. I was able to get him the level one weapons upgrade, but it looks like I stopped there. And that's the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all these games. Neither, None of them was really that good until this one. I probably would have broadcast this one anyways. But since it was the best of three, I wanted to give you guys all three on the same day. So let me know what you think about that kind of stuff. If this does happen again, uh, do you want to see all three? Do you want me to spread them out? Uh, or just do you want me to show the good ones? Uh, because normally I just would have shown this one game, not the previous two before that because, you know, they were pretty basic and simple. So let me know what you guys want to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.